Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Wrestling Roundup. I'm Anthony. Uh, the Wrestling Roundup is brought to you by Suicide Moses Productions. Check them out on YouTube at Suicide Moses Productions. Obviously, you can search that. We're here today to talk about some predictions. We're going to do predictions for tomorrow night's WWE Hell in a Cell 2018. One of the most popular events of the year, only because of the stipulation that surrounds the main matches. Let's get on with our predictions here, as we like to do. Uh, we're going to start off with a mixed tag team match. We're going to have, in one corner, Daniel Bryan and Brie Bella versus The Miz and his wife, Maurice. Now, this has been a story that's been building for weeks and weeks and weeks and, and years and years and years. This, and as it was kind of, it was packaged in at SummerSlam when you got to see the evolution and the progression of this feud between Daniel Bryan and The Miz. And it's culminating, I mean, we thought it kind of culminated at SummerSlam, but I'm glad that they're keeping it going by adding in the wives. And that, cause that's such an interesting uh, dynamic to the equation. Uh, you know, with Brie Bella making her in-ring return just this month, that's huge. Um, we have women's WWE Evolution coming up in a couple of weeks. Uh, so for this match, I kind of am on the fence about who I'm going to go with, but I think I'm going to have to go with, I don't know, Daniel Bryan and Brie Bella. All right, and let me tell you why. Uh, the Miz won at SummerSlam, and it's kind of nice to keep the feud going. And I know what, you know, I know what happened on Tuesday with uh, The Miz and Marie, or no, I'm sorry, Daniel Bryan and Brie Bella getting the upper hand on Miz and Maurice, and that's kind of everybody, you know, when somebody kicks somebody's ass on the show before the pay-per-view, you kind of think that that person who's doing the ass kicking is going to get their ass kicked. But I'm going the other way here. I'm going with a victory for Daniel Bryan and Brie Bella. Nice way to continue the story, nice way to keep it going. And honestly, at WWE Evolution, we could see a nice singles match between Brie Bella and Maurice. I'm very excited about that. What I'm also excited about in this match is Maurice making her in-ring return after having her baby. I'm pretty sure that this is the first match she'll have after giving birth, which is awesome to see her come back so quickly and be just, you know, of course, right up there in the main event scene. So there we go with that one. Uh, next up, we have Randy Orton versus Jeff Hardy in Hell in a Cell. All right, so this one, there's so many other matches on this card that would be better suited for Hell in a Cell. But Jeff Hardy has never been in a Hell in a Cell. So that makes me think that, you know, and he always said that he wanted to do a Hell in a Cell match before he retires. And that's fine. Him being in the Hell in a Cell match makes me think that we are a lot closer to Jeff Hardy's retirement than we actually think. I think it could honestly be at the end of this year or at the beginning of next year with a possible Hall of Fame induction coming up. Because as we all know, Matt Hardy is slowly progressing out of being an in-ring competitor and into being a backstage hand. So he's basically wrapping up his in-ring career as well. Uh, I think this is going to be a fun match. I think it's going to be really intense, really quite vicious. Uh, Randy Orton lately has been bringing out the darker side of Randy Orton character, which is something that all of us fans really love to see. So I am going with, all right, see, and now I kind of am questioning myself with this pick because of a later pick that I have, but I'm going to go with what I'm going to go with. I'm going to go with Randy Orton to win the Hell in a Cell match. And here's why. I think Randy Orton is going to be bumped up into kind of the main event scene. We're going to see him along the lines of uh, AJ and Samoa Joe because there needs to be that other person up there. And unless, you know, Daniel Bryan's not there, Miz isn't there, uh, Shinsuke Nakamura's not there. So there has to be somebody else added to that main event scene, which is why I think Randy Orton's going to win. Uh, a side prediction, I'm going to say Jeff Hardy is going to do something crazy in that Hell in a Cell. I can't wait to see it. I'm so excited. A swanton, you know, bomb off the top of a Hell in a Cell. I mean, that's 30 feet up. That's pretty crazy, but we've seen crazier out of him. So 
And actually, honestly, it was against Randy Orton that Jeff Hardy did that infamous Swanton bomb off of the stage. So we could see something like that. I, I you know, and if Randy Orton doesn't win, I don't think Jeff Hardy's going to win. But if Randy Orton doesn't win, it's going to be like a no contest. Like it's just going to be a draw. So, but I'm picking Randy Orton. There you go. Uh, next up, let's get into the title matches we have tonight. We have six title matches here. Uh, we have the SmackDown Tag Team Championship, which will see the New Day versus the team of Rusev and Aiden English. And if we watch wrestling, which we all do, because if we didn't, we wouldn't be watching this, we know that every day is Rusev Day. But... Today is not going to be Rusev Day. I am picking the New Day to win. And I'll go back to my argument that I had whenever the New Day were challenging for the titles, is that Sanity is waiting for a great feud. And what, I mean, you have three members of Sanity, you have three members of the New Day. It just makes sense, doesn't it? I'm not alone here, am I? Ah, wait, nope. I am alone, actually. But comment below to tell me what you think about Sanity versus New Day, because I'm all about that. And as much as I want to see Rusev and Aiden English win the belts, I just don't think it's going to happen. I, I feel like tomorrow night is going to be a pivotal breaking point for the team of English and Rusev. Aiden English will screw something up. Or maybe Rusev will screw something up, and the team is going to die. We're about two to three weeks away from that team just breaking up. And I think that's, I think it's fine. I think it's cool to push Aiden as a single star. I think there's a lot of, there's a lot of miles to that vehicle that you could, you know, get out of him. So, the New Day will retain the titles. That's right, you're five-time, 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 five-time WWE Tag Team Champions will walk away with their belts. And walk into a feud with Sanity. There you go. Uh, next up, we have the Raw Tag Team Championship match. Uh, where we have the champions, Dolph Ziggler and Drew McIntyre, versus two members of The Shield, Seth Rollins and Dean Ambrose. Okay, so I'm going with Dolph Ziggler and Drew McIntyre. Alright, and let me tell you why. Dolph Ziggler has been has had a career resurgence this year. I, you know, last year I was one of many that were thinking like Dolph is getting to the end. He's going to leave the WWE soon, and that's you know, and it was fine. It's been ten plus years, so why not uh, have him to start leaving? But now, so far in 2018, he's held the Intercontinental Championship, and now he has the Raw Tag Team Championship. So for a guy who was supposed to be leaving last year. He sure is winning a lot of championships. He and Dol he and Drew McIntyre are two of the best characters on Raw, hands down. Every week they deliver. They're great in ring. They're great on the microphone. They're ring generals. I mean, these guys are two of the smartest in the business. Drew McIntyre looks like a brick shit house. He has just been crushing it, like ever since he came back to NXT. I feel like this could be the start of the Dean Ambrose heel turn that we've all been waiting for. Like, I mean, something could happen. Plus, this shield vehicle that they've been driving around for the last couple of weeks, I just don't, I don't, I, I don't know. I just don't like it. There's no credible opponent for them. Like, you can't throw Ziggler and McIntyre with Strowman and call that a group. Like, there's nothing for the shield to really do other than act like little bitches and save each other you know in their matches which we'll get to later on tonight uh so yeah going with ziggler and mcintyre to retain uh i i just i've yeah i think they're too good and i think that the time is not right for ziggler or for rollins and ambrose to retain and i'm probably going to be wrong let's get you know let's just get it out there in the open i'm probably going to be wrong but Maybe I won't. Uh, next up, we have, uh, let's talk about the women's championship matches. Uh, first up, for the Raw Women's Championship, we have the champion, Ronda Rousey, versus the challenger, Alexa Bliss. Now, this is our rematch from SummerSlam, where Ronda Rousey won the women's championship from Alexa Bliss. 
I feel like this should have been in a Hell in a Cell. I thought that when they first announced it. Put it in a Hell in a Cell and have Alexa Bliss win to kind of knock Ronda Rousey down a peg or two. Like, and I, and I fully support Ronda Rousey, and I think she's great, and I think she, she has been so surprising at how well she's taken to being a WWE superstar. But I feel like the match should have been in a Hell in a Cell. I think it would have been better to book it that way. Anyway, I, I just think that this... All right, so we have WWE Evolution coming up, which is the all-women's pay-per-view. Ronda Rousey is already set to fight... No, I'm sorry. All right, yeah, okay. Alexa Bliss is already set to fight Trish Stratus. Ronda Rousey has been rumored to be going up against Nikki Bella. So either way, the championship's not going to be in play that night, which I think is a big, big mistake on the WWE's part. I mean, you have an all-women's pay-per-view and you're not going to have a women's championship match. What are you doing? What? What are you doing? I don't know. All right. I am going to go with... All right. I hate to say this. I'm going to go with Ronda Rousey. And here's why. I, the WWE has a lot invested in her. She is... She's the face of this new women's evolution that is just, you know, the new section of it. Of course, we've been doing it for years, but she's the beginning of the new part. Plus... Shayna Baszler could get involved. Uh, Jessamine Duke could get involved. And the other, I forget her name all the time, she could get involved as well. So, uh, I don't know. I feel like Alexa Bliss has taken such a drastic dive as far as her character goes. She, you know, a SmackDown Women's Champion. Raw Women's Champion. She carried the company for the first half of the year... And now Rousey's here, and it's like, all right, well, here's Alexa Bliss, who's been doing all this great work, and it just doesn't matter because it's Ronda Rousey. So, and I guess that's kind of where I'm going. I'm going with my head and not my heart. Ronda Rousey to retain the Raw Women's Championship. I kind of hope I'm wrong. Yeah. Uh, next up for the SmackDown Women's Championship, we have the champion, Charlotte Flair, defending against Becky Lynch. Everybody's favorite, Becky Lynch. They tried to make everybody hate her, but in doing so, they made everybody absolutely love her. And I still love her. I'm going with Becky Lynch for this. I feel like the time is right for her to become a two-time SmackDown Women's Champion. Plus, if you're looking for that big championship match to have at WWE Evolution, Charlotte, Becky Lynch, Steel Cage match, give it to me, please. But that all has to start with Becky Lynch winning tonight. And I feel like she's going to do so with underhanded tactics. She's going to cheat. It's going to be something crazy to give this fuel or this feud more fuel. There we go. I said it right the second time. Uh, and keep carrying it on. Because this, I mean, there's a lot of great stories going on in WWE right now. But somehow, Charlotte Flair versus Becky Lynch has reached out to the people and, you know, made it relatable. Uh, and we have all been supporting Becky Lynch throughout, you know, the last year where she's been booked not so well. So, of course, we want to see her grab the title, do well, kick ass, just like she always does. So, Becky Lynch, there you have it. Uh, next up, we have our big championship matches, the big titles up for grabs tonight. We have the champion. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me say this first. The WWE Championship match, where we have the champion, AJ Styles, versus the challenger, Samoa Joe. Alright. Everybody calm down for a second. Because it's 2018, and we have AJ Styles versus Samoa Joe for the WWE Championship. If you would have told Anthony from 2005 that this was a thing that's going to happen, I probably would have told you you're crazy. Plus, I'm 15 at the time, so if you're a little older... That might be weird that we're talking. Anyway, this match has had a lot of emotion uh, injected into it with a or with Samoa Joe attacking AJ as a family man, as a father, as a husband, constantly, week after week after week. And that right there is going to be AJ Styles' downfall. He is going to get too emotional in this match. He is going to let his head take over and cost him to lose this match 
which means we're walking away with the new WWE champion tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Samoa Joe. I just feel like that's the best way to go right now. Uh, you take the title off of AJ. He's held it for, what, like 300 days? Like, I, you know, it's been a really great reign. But Samoa Joe is the kind of person that the company wants to have as the future. And I agree with him. I think he's great. I think he's excellent in the ring. He's excellent on the microphone. He commands respect. It's, it's a no-brainer. And I love AJ Styles. Don't get me wrong. I really do. But I just think it's Samoa Joe's time. All right? Samoa Joe for the win. I need to take a drink. I've been talking straight for like 10 minutes. Give me a second here. Oh. Mm -mm. Brought to you by hands. All right. The main event. The WWE Universal Championship match inside a Hell in a Cell. We have the champion, Roman Reigns, versus the challenger, Braun Strowman, with special guest referee, Mick Foley. I don't get that, all right? Maybe I'm the only one, but I feel like it's the worst decision in the world to have Mick Foley special guest referee this match. And I understand it's... We're 20 years removed from his famous Hell in a Cell match with The Undertaker. And I get it. I really do. But Foley has not been on television recently. He brings no he brings nothing to this match. It's he's like there's no emotional investment. There's no reason. It's not like he's doing this to piss off Stephanie McMahon. Mick Foley's just the special guest referee. And I I mean that'll probably I, I don't think Mick Foley's going to be the one to make the count. I feel like he's going to get knocked out during the match and they're going to have to bring in another ref. I feel like that's a great way to go. Uh, Alright, so I picked Roman Reigns at SummerSlam, and I was right. So I'm picking Roman Reigns again tonight, and I'm sorry. I know. Boo. Boo. I get it. The Shield will help him. Ambrose and Rollins will be there to help him after McIntyre and Ziggler get involved. I just, you know, that's the way it's got to go. Braun Strowman deserves that Universal Championship. Hands down. 100% deserves it. But it's not the right time. It's just not. You've got, and I know, like, Vince McMahon wants to see how far this Roman Reigns vehicle is going to go. I feel like Roman's going to have the belt until WrestleMania, if not before that, because... Let's not forget, Brock Lesnar still has a rematch waiting. So, it could happen before that. But, I feel like Roman Reigns is going to hold the belt for a long time. And if I, that feeling is correct, he can't lose it tonight. So, I'm going with Roman Reigns, even though I absolutely love Braun Strowman and think he's the best. Alright, let's do a little quick recap here. Going over the picks. Uh, we've got Randy Orton, Daniel Bryan, and Brie Bella. We've got The New Day, Dolph Ziggler and Drew McIntyre, Ronda Rousey, Becky Lynch, Samoa Joe, and AJ Styles. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been the Wrestling Roundup Hell in a Cell Prediction Show. I've been your host, Anthony Zevitek. You can follow me on Twitter, at AZevo41. Make sure you tune in to Hell in a Cell tomorrow night on the WWE Network. Leave your predictions in the comments section below. Make sure you like and subscribe to Suicide Moses Productions page. Like I said before, I've been Anthony. Thank you for listening.